what the whole thing demonstrates is there's lots of talent out there, lots of clubs out there with the potential to do this type of thing. And you know, it's a, it's a, as you say, a momentous day for Coventry. I think it's a fairly momentous day for the sport as well. I've just said it's uh, an accumulation of about 16 years of work, really. Um, I think we're looking to be, be able to challenge next year. We've, uh, we've been developing the club probably the last eight years towards this goal, uh, and we want to be competitive. Well, I think there's been a, a leap of faith in the last couple of years. About uh, four years ago, we embarked on a journey worked by uh, we asked for tenders for clubs that would be interested in taking up the, uh, the reins at semi-professional level. Now that meant that we had somewhere in the region of 35 applications and we drilled down through all of those. Uh, Coventry was one of those, it's been a sort of stalking horse throughout that process. Um, and three of those teams, uh, Oxford, Hemel and Gloucester actually entered Championship 1. At the end, at the start of last year, and have acquitted themselves really well. At that point, despite the fact we knew how much Coventry had to offer, um, it we didn't think it was quite right. And I think there, uh, since then, there has been a, a, a really uh, admirable amount of work that's been put in to bring them to this point. Well, it couldn't really be more exciting, to be honest, for them and for the rest of the game. They are now about to enter into a competition which connects them directly with the, the top clubs in Super League. They'll obviously go into the uh, Kingston Championships competition and that will give them the ability to uh, obviously play divisionally right up to the Super League. But not only that, in cup competitions they could come across any opposition at all. So as far as, them, as, as, far as Coventry goes, it's a, it couldn't be a better time as far as competition goes. I think it's another great boost for us, you know, another pin on the map and uh, all in all 2015, lots of change and it, it, it's a great period for us. Yeah, you know, it's been a lot of hard work to get here. You know, there's been a lot of criteria to, to, to fulfil, uh, but we've got some great partnerships in place uh, with the Coventry Rugby Club, with the Coventry University, um, you know, and we're just looking forward to the challenges ahead now and being able to, you know, we want to be competitive in Championship 1. We want to put Coventry on the map. You know, we, we want to be able to represent the Midlands and, and get, uh, you know, find all the rugby league fans uh, within the Midlands to, to come and get behind Coventry Bears. And I guess, you know, wherever you are in five, six, seven years' time in terms of the league structure and, and where you sit within that, I guess now is pretty crucial laying those foundations. Yeah, you know, we, we we're a, a fledgling business in that respect. Um, we've got a, we've evolved from being a community club, um, but we want to be a successful business. And uh, you know, first and foremost, that, that's where it starts. You know, developing the business, being able to put a competitive team on the field, you know, as well as developing our community side of rugby league. And you know, as I've said. Um, we want the we want the public to, to come and have a look at Coventry, come and have a look at Coventry Bears, uh, and get behind us. I think Coventry are helped by the fact that the three clubs that have come in so far in Oxford, Hemel, and Gloucester have acquitted themselves really well. So they can understand and and everybody can see that these clubs can do it. Coventry, uh, as you say, now have to stand on their own two feet and prove to themselves and everybody around them that they can do it. We think that they can. They've got some great partnerships. The Rugby Union Club have been excellent. The council, as you've seen earlier today, they're fully supportive, as are the university. And all those partnerships do make them stronger and hopefully prepare them for what will be a fairly tough life ahead. We've probably been operating in a way, sort of quite to the level of perhaps Championship 1. We've been challenging ourselves to that level for the last few years. Obviously with the facility that we have here, Butts Park Arena, um, we've got a great facility compared to, you know, um, for amateur rugby league. And that's... That's something that's allowed us to be able to operate at that level, to be able to promote ourselves to fans, to be able to showcase the sport in the city, to be able to really, you know, um, show the, the the Midlands area that that we can, that rugby league can be on a good stage, and that uh, you know, so we've been operating as we've been operating at that level. Um, we've got a good fan base behind us. We've got great social media backing, um, you know, and. I think we want to use that expertise that we have sort of from the media side to be able to help grow the business, to be able to get more fans in. Um, we're obviously um, competing on behalf of the city and the Midlands region on, on that level. And uh, we want to be able to, to, to grow year on year. Uh, and really, I suppose, the, 
you know, it's the tip of the iceberg at the minute. Um, and we're hoping we can start to realise that. Yeah, we're, we've kind of got a bit of a, a second mover advantage in a way where the, these other clubs have gone forward. Um, they've tested the water, they've, 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 they've done some really, really good things and, and they may have made some, some, some mistakes on the way. Um, and we've, hope, we've been we've been watching closely with an eye to what we're going up as, 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 as we've been trying to do. And we think that we're in a good place to learn from what they've done really well, um, pick up things like that. So obviously you mentioned Gloucester there, so tap into the university sector, absolutely uh, uh, key driver for people getting, for bringing experienced players into the region. Um, and also um, people like Hemel, we've been watching what they've been doing, Oxford as well. So we, we, we are keeping an eye on what other clubs are doing, but obviously we are our own business, we are our own club and, and we've got our own ideas as well so hopefully the blend of, of all those things will give us a good advantage. So.